Top leaders in the state are seeing changes as Lieutenant Governor Adam Gregg stepped down. This put Iowa Senate President Amy Sinclair in the potential acting role of Lieutenant Governor until Governor Reynolds names a new one. But this process could all be different come November. Our Dana Searles joins us now to explain why. Dana. Well, Stephanie, Iowans will have the chance to vote on the November ballot for a constitutional amendment. This amendment focuses on the event of a sitting lieutenant governor needing to take over the governor's duties and what happens next. The line of succession in Iowa is something you may not think about. Oh gosh, it just it goes right down the line. But could determine. Oh, let's see. Who is leading the state? Lieutenant Governor. Uh, and making some of the most important decisions. I'm not sure who the next one is. Currently, if something happens to the governor, the lieutenant governor would take over. Then the Senate president would serve as lieutenant governor. But come November, that could change. Something some Iowans aren't aware of. No, I, that's first I've heard of it. A special measure on the November ballot would give the new acting governor the power to appoint their own lieutenant governor if that role becomes vacant. And it would not need to follow the typical line of succession. My concern is that under this amendment, there's no check on who the governor picks. Think like 2017, when Kim Reynolds first took over for Terry Branstad. That is what sparked this amendment. In order for the amendment to get on the ballot, it needed to pass through the legislature in two consecutive legislative sessions. It's an amendment State Representative Adam Zabner raised concerns over. Changing the constitution of the state of Iowa is a big deal, and I, I think it's perfectly right that such a big change should have to go by Iowans. And now the amendment is in the hands of the people. Instead of appointing it, like if we could maybe like vote on a second lieutenant yeah. governor, I feel like I'd feel better about it. Who will vote yes or no on implementing the constitutional amendment. If historically it goes down the line of succession, I feel like it should probably stay like that. I also reached out to Governor Reynolds' office for comment on this ballot measure, but have not yet heard back. Stephanie.